Hey guys, welcome back to Polly's Auto. This is part two to that uh, Grand Caravan I did with the ambient temp sensor issue and the battery temp sensor um, ordeal. Anyways, the uh, temp sensor's in. I'm gonna go in and I wanna see what this battery temp sensor reads after putting a new ambient temp sensor in because I think the two may be related. So let me get the data up and we'll take a look. All right guys, so I took this thing for a little spin after putting in the new ambient temp sensor. It's not real difficult guys. Got the part straight from Mopar, right from Chrysler themselves. Comes the new bracket, it's one 10 millimeter bolt and pretty much that's it. Mounts right up by the um, condenser. But if you look, you can see now that our ambient temp sensor is, uh, hold on, let me clean my lens on my um, phone here. Sorry guys, there is a little bit of a glare, but oh well. Um, anyways, you can see the ambient temp sensor, degrees Fahrenheit, 42 degrees. Now after driving it, it is about 42 degrees outside right now. Yes, it's nice, um, it's awesome. Battery temp voltage uh, is right at three uh, volts, so that's good. Um, or I'm sorry, ambient temp voltage. And then if you look at the battery temp in degrees, you can see that it's pretty damn close. You know, a couple degrees, degrees is nothing, but you know, to our ambient temp. Now, why this is not showing a voltage, I don't know, guys. I don't know what the strategy is, but clearly the ambient temp sensor affects the battery uh, temp PID on the scan tool. I just thought I would show that to you guys. I'm not looking into it. I'm not replacing a battery temp sensor. I don't see an issue with the temp sensor. Um, I just, I guess it's kind of a learning experience, you know? And, you know, and the more you look at data, the more you start noticing things. And I just happened to notice that it wasn't showing a battery temp voltage. So why it doesn't, I, I don't know. It's not throwing a code for a battery temp sensor. Um, the five volt ref is there. Um, something else I didn't mention on that battery temp sensor is it gets its five volts from the computer. It's ground side on that sensor is tied into the same ground circuit as I believe the crank sensor, um, and a couple other sensors. So it shares its ground side. I think I was, um, I think I misspoke in my video. So just to clarify on that guys, um, obviously it drops voltage on the, um, the five volt side and the computer determines, you know, battery temp based off that. Why it doesn't show a voltage, I, it still is baffling to me. There's not a lot of information and the, even the information I did find on it was super confusing. So I'm not gonna look into it too deeply. Um, the battery is charging just fine. The temperatures match. Um, so this is a fix. So just a follow up, real short and quick. Uh, in case any of you guys do run into a battery temp sensor on one of these Chrysler vans, you know, maybe this will help you out. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Have a great day and um, take care.